What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today, well, you've caught me right in the middle of filming a pick fed. However, what I am doing is, um, like obviously, you'll see a video that comes out, um, that came out the other day, talking about obviously trying to get the pick fed done. Um, my sister's recently moved out into a new flat, so I'm currently using her room. Um, so, fingers crossed I can actually get the pick feds done. But anyway, today I'm bringing you a customizing live video. Uh, this is my second one. And what I'm actually going to be doing is swapping the network spotlight Roman Reigns head onto the Elite 65, I believe it is. Um, I'm swapping on a custom, like, messed up painted Demon Finn Balor head onto my network spotlight Demon Finn. Uh, if you see this head, this is literally what it's meant to look like after Finn's like in the middle of the match and the face paint's chipped off. I think I've done a pretty decent job. Um, but yeah, and I'm also going to be swapping on some Bobby Roode legs onto my brand new Elite 69 Tommaso Ciampa. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so let me explain once again what I'm doing. I've just got in the post this brand new Tommaso Ciampa Elite 69 figure. Um, what we're going to be doing is the, the uh, legs on this figure are way too short and way too skinny for Tommaso. So I'm going to be swapping on, uh, well, sacrificing this Bobby Roode Elite and swapping on these Roode legs onto this Ciampa. Um, I don't use Rude much in the pick fed anyway, so if I ever did want to use him, I'd just switch them back. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing with these two. Uh, putting them down, we're doing an experimental thing. So I've got, obviously, these two elite Roman Reigns figures. This one's in the gold, this one's in the red. Um, this head scan is, is just trash. It's just plain and simple trash. This, though, is the best Roman Reigns head scan they've ever made. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be swapping this head onto this body so I can see what this head scan looks like on the gold. Um, this is an experimental thing. If I ever was going to use this in the pick fed, I'd swap the vests over uh, because obviously this one has only part of the tattoo on the shoulder, whereas this one has it in full. So that's that. And then finally, the third thing is I've got this Demon Finn Balor uh, network spotlight custom obviously I made this ages ago so the paintwork is a bit trash on it but it is a custom network spotlight demon fin um, and obviously the lighting is not very good but I am going to be swapping on this uh, damaged head um, which is obviously just a custom painted normal Finn Balor head that I've done. Um, so this is like you know mid-match when Finn's like you know worn out and his face paint's chipping off. So let's get actually right into doing it. The first thing we've got to do is open up this Tommaso Ciampa. One, obviously I need it opened up so I can actually do it. This isn't going to be a figure review, but two, I want to see if I've got the Ciampa writing on the back, the uh, actual like font that says Ciampa on the back of his trunks. A lot of people don't have this, I've seen, uh, and it's more of a variant thing. So fingers crossed I do. It's no biggie if I don't. I'll just print it off and mod podge it on. But if I don't have to do that, that'll be much better. So what we're going to be doing is grabbing my scissors and then I'm going to do a real quick time lapse of me opening the figure. Let's go. Okay, so here's the Tommaso Champer out of the box. First off, I'm gonna get these hands out. Uh, this is the actual first pair of hands I have. I'm gonna bring the box low so you can hear me. Uh, first pair of hands I have that are actually like the hand shaking hands, I guess you could say, or the hands that are like, um, well, like this. Yeah, I know Gargano has them, so he can do that. Uh, but this is like just the open palm hands that aren't the you can't see me hands. Um, obviously, with the interchangeable hands being a thing, Mattel gave us the this hand uh, with John Cena. But that's more of like, you know, a you can't see me hand, whereas this is an actual like hand shaking hand. So that's one. Let me grab out the other one. This one doesn't want to come out. Fingers crossed I can actually get it out. There we go, there's the second hand. Also in this packaging we have a crutch. Um, obviously, Tommaso Ciampa used the crutch in his match with Gargano. Um, this one's a bit warped, so I'm probably gonna have to heat that up as well. But there we go, I don't actually have a crutch, so that's always nice to have. Now we're gonna get into actual Ciampa himself. First off, I'm gonna take the hands out. They nailed this body. If they gave him the rude legs, it would have been perfect. But the arms are, in my opinion, a good size. Um, the body's perfect. So, yeah, I really can't complain. Actually, yes, I can. Mattel, what is that on his head? What is that? That better come off with nail polish remover, otherwise I'm going to be pissed. But, yeah, just looking at this figure, he's already way too short. He is not this short. Let's stand him up with Finn Balor. You can see. Look how much shorter he is than Finn. Champ is taller than Finn. I think he's 6'1", so that's just wrong. I'm definitely going to be swapping on these rude legs. But anyways, let me real quick undo these cargo trousers and see if we've got Champer on the back. Let's have a look. 
and we do awesome we've got the champa like decal uh design on the back i'm gonna be taking these off these are really annoying it's got like elastic around the actual foot bit so i can't get my finger under it put it this way i'm gonna now go in and use the hairdryer so i'll see you when i'm swapping up the customs Okay guys, so we're in our usual spot, obviously you will recognise it. I don't know if I'm just an idiot, but I genuinely can't get these off, so I'm going to heat up the boots and take them off that way, uh, then obviously I'll be doing the leg swap. So, we're going to start off with Tommaso Ciampa, then we're going to move on to the rest. Okay, so this Champa fix up is very simple for those of you that don't know. All I've got to do is heat up the ball joints on the inside of the legs, pop them off and pop them onto the other one. Obviously then I've got to swap over the knee pads and everything as well, but let's heat them up and get on with it. Time lapse of the hairdryer. Okay, so they're heated up enough. I've just removed the legs on Brood, just about to pop them off of Champa. These legs literally on the ball joints, just literally you turn them like that and they slip straight off. So now I'm gonna quickly put on the Champa legs on to, uh, I mean, sorry, the uh, the Rude legs onto Champa. It just pops right back on exactly the same way. Bang, and I'm not gonna be putting the, uh, the Rude legs onto uh obviously i mean the champa legs onto rude because i need him as like spare fodder so i'm gonna push that to the side now i need to heat up the rude boots i'm not gonna do any of these on camera uh heat up the boots take off the knee pads uh put on the champa boots and stuff uh put on the champa knee brace and then we will put it to the side and we'll look at it at the end of the video see you then Okay, so Tomasa Champ is done. Now what we're gonna be doing is moving on to this Roman Reigns head. Very simple here, but I do have to heat these Roman heads up a lot harder, uh, a lot longer, sorry, I should say, because they are a lot harder um, and they're a lot more thick plastic. So gonna be sitting here for a while. Let's roll the time-lapse of me heating these Roman heads up. Okay, so the Roman heads are ready, but these are very hot and these vests are like incredibly hot to touch. So it might take a few, <laughs> we might see, these are so hot. This is why guys, I don't advise any of you to do this at all, unless you have your parents' permission or unless they're helping you because it's hot. This is hot plastic. Uh, there we go, heads are popped off. Obviously we've got two bald Romans here. Now I'm literally just gonna grab this Roman head and pop it onto the network spotlight, see how it looks. I'm worried the uh, the neck peg might sit too high, if I'm honest. So I've got to try and get it there. Sorry if you can hear Woody in the background. Will it go on? Oh, wow. No, that looks really good. Yeah. No, that looks surprisingly good. There we go. Roman Reigns on the network spotlight. Um, I'm going to show you this one now just because, you know, why not? There it is. Roman on the network spotlight. Um, and I'm not going to try and swap the other heads on. That looks really cool. I can't lie. We'll put that to the side. And let's move on. Okay, so that brings us to our final custom of the video. It's switching this Demon Finn Balor head onto, well, this weathered Demon Finn Balor head, I guess you could say. So let's get right into it. All I'm gonna be doing is heating this head up and switching it on, wait, wrong one. Heating this head up and switching it onto this body. Let's go. Okay, so I think it's ready to be swapped onto. Just literally gonna carefully pop this head off like that and switch this battered demon head, I guess you could call it, right on. If it goes on, please go on. There we go, nice, I'm a fan of that. Wow, that looks good. There it is, and let's quickly, before we end the video, take a look at all of the customs today. Let's go. So here are my three customs. I do hope you all enjoyed them. Uh, starting things off, obviously, we've got the Bobby Roode thighs on the Tommaso Ciampa. Matches up perfectly. Makes him the right height, in my opinion. He's still maybe a little short. I'm not too sure. He stands a little bit shorter than this Finn Balor, so we'll have to see. But here it is, Tommaso Ciampa with the thicker thighs. These thighs just don't cut it. They're way too skinny for Tommaso. Go ahead, watch one of his matches, look at his thighs, they are massive. Tommaso Ciampa fix up right there. Next up, we've got this Roman Reigns Network Spotlight Head Swap. Uh, if I was to ever use this in the Fed, like I said once again, I would just do an arm and like vest swap so we can get that full sleeve tattoo. Obviously this one doesn't, it's got that partial gap which is annoying. But just so I can like, you know, see the look before I start taking the vests off and stuff. Because these things, once they're off, they don't like going back on. But yeah, uh, I really like this. I think the gold pops great um, with this head scan. 
scan. I think everything about it just looks good. This Roman head is just way too big and way too over-expressionized. I think that's, I don't know if that's a word, but now it's a word. Um, and I think this head's just perfect for this body and this vest. There we go. Moving on to our final custom of the day, we have got this Finn Balor custom head that I made that I've just basically splashed paint onto leaving gaps everywhere to make it all look beaten up, uh, look all like the body paint's been chipped away. This is Finn towards the end or after if he's just been hammered in the face a bunch of times, basically. There it is, Demon Head. Absolutely love it. I think it looks great and I can't wait to use it in the pick fed. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling figure content and normal wrestling content. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.